Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. Today, I want to share with you a clip from a recent live event. And we're going to talk about battle helpers. We're going to talk about the fight against bots. I have never touched a battle helper, but today I did. I want to comment on what I'm seeing. Man, I don't think they add fun at all. I'm not sure they're even that powerful. But then again, maybe I don't know how to use them. I'm going to talk battle helpers. Stick around for this one. And I hope you'll enjoy the video before we get into it i have to say shout out to splintercoach.com which is helping sponsor the channel this is an amazing app that will track your personalized battle history telling you how often you win and lose with each monster and summoner that information is both entertaining to look at but also helpful because it'll, it can actually help you improve if you can improve because of the tool you can win more reward for the same time and attention so check it out splintercoach.com five bucks a month give them a try thanks guys I wanted to talk about battle helpers. I am, I've heard about battle helpers. You guys have heard about battle helpers. I have never used them up until today. And I had, didn't even know how to use them. I didn't know that they were related to Xbox. I didn't know anything about them. I only knew that they existed and that some people use them even in brawls. And I've struggled in my brawls man like it's been it's tough and brawls for me are one of the most competitive the most challenging the most important parts of the game because they have this opportunity for not just for me to personally benefit but for my team to benefit and so as a product of that i really want to do well in them i want to be attentive to it. i want to rent cards to equip myself to succeed and so that we can achieve at a high level and and uh and so I just started poking around today. I was like, you know, I know these things exist. Let's look into it. And I found some old from April and March of this year. I saw videos from uh, Tales and from um, After Sound covering the existence, the use, the, who's using it, even that kind of stuff. And I found, you know, the connection through Discord uh, uh, for Xbot. And I just went ahead and I gave it a shot. I thought, you know, let's just give it a try. I want to see what it's all about. Is it really that helpful or is it that powerful? I in I used it for my brawl submissions today for the first time ever, and uh, and I usually fight in my guild brawls at tier four using the alpha beta fray at the diamond league level. That's this is one of my battles right here. Alpha beta diamond league. Any cards are good um, as long as they're alpha beta, and um, and I play against some some real beasts. Forever crypto here is you know is uh, queued up against me here, and and we're about to you know go out of here. And uh, I don't know. I mean, this is one of the battles that I relied on the pot, upon the data for. I guess what I want to say is that it seems to me that the tool isn't as powerful as I might have expected. And and let's watch this battle and see what happens. I'm I'm on the bottom with the Lyanna. It's silent summoners, healed out, and uh, lost legendaries. I would think my speed is going to keep me evasive from his from his animated corpse. We'll see. Pocatrice slapping. Animated corpse goes down. No poison on my uh, spirit shaman. I feel like this should be a win right, th right this second, but that poison is annoying. Oh, if he didn't poison me, honestly, if he didn't poison me right there, I think we he's done. He is done because we, we either stun lock or we at least kill the little assassin from my magic my magic attack. Yeah, the only reason he 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 won this is because the Sailor's house and dropped a poison on my on my um on my spirit shaman. I put the chicken in the, the rare just in case something like this happened. And um when he when this skeletal assassin drops the poison on the spirit shaman, that's when we lose this. Because it, it ends up killing me the round after he can no longer sneak attack. We stun locked the animated not that he would have hit me anyways. At one speed, with the dodge and flight, he would have missed me. It's a strong team. I've seen this team be played before. This is a this is a recommendation that came to me from... And also, if I had stun-locked his undead priest, if the undead priest that was in the first position a moment ago had been stun-locked by my spirit shaman, it wouldn't have killed my cocatrice. That might have changed things too, allowing me one more hit on the skeletal assassin or one more dodge from my cocatrice evading the skeletal assassin. But this is, the, I feel like Buddy got pretty lucky here. Actually, we can check, pull up the data, can't we? Let's go see what the odds of him winning were. I feel like he got real lucky. Let's, let's pull it up. Splinter, what's a grand Splinter. Splinter tools, I think. 
So he has a 90% win rate. Is that right? Or is that? No, hang on a second. I always get this confused. I always get this confused. Is this a 90% rate that he would win? Or is this a 90%... Yeah, it must be. Or is it a 90% chance that I would have won and yet I lost? I think it's... I don't know. I don't know. Because hang on, the Joker won this one against me. It's a, it shows 100%. So it must have been... It must be that the percentage refers to whoever... The, the probability of whoever won winning. I think. So Forever Crypto had a 90% chance to win that. I'm really astonished by that because frankly, the poison had a 50% proc chance. The, hmm. Yeah, I'm really surprised. But the reason I wanted to bring up this is because one, that was, I mean, that didn't go the way I wanted it to, but I did use Battle Helper across these brawls to test it out. And the one thing that I found that was the most, and also I'd used it on this one here. This is just a rank battle. And the the thing that I found with respect to the tool is one, there's a paper use cost. You know, you're talking 30 DC, which is not a big deal, but it's an, it's, it's an encumbrance. Like it's an annoyance. It's an inconvenience. If you don't want to, if you don't have access to the, you know, I almost feel people would probably prefer to have access to like a a pay service where it just it tells you whenever you want and then another criticism two other criticisms one it doesn't seem to be that powerful i saw results being given to me that i thought were totally inappropriate totally and maybe i'm a fool and i just misread these things and but i don't think so i actually believe that the value associated or the tools that were being recommended were just not accurate um and i could give i mean that last loss is and maybe an example this is a this is a game that doesn't go the way i want and it's another example um but maybe but pro but the way the tool works is it'll give you five examples you know hey you can try this play or this play or this play or this play and it kind of ranks them in the best order that it sees them and you then have to you know buy your eyes and decide which way you think is sort of the most logical and my my one of the criticisms I, I have toward it is that it appears to me as though as though the first of all it takes a long time to think through its options if it leaves you with one minute and it gives you five options to choose from with one minute with remaining in your battle selection process that's actually a tight tense time especially if you don't know all of the monsters names so you actually have to be well equipped to understand the data and then implement the data because it's a manual implementation. It's not an automatic. It's not going to drop the cards that it says you don't pick option one and then it goes and does it for you. No, you have to understand, okay, it's an Almo Cambio. I know that's a seven mana card. I'm going to, I'm going to click seven on my filter. So I bring it up quicker. Chaos agent. Okay. I know uh, spirit hoarder. It just says the names of these cards. You need to know the manas. You need to know what they look like maybe in the, cause the screen is going to be full of cards. And you've only got 30, 40 seconds. You're trying to read one window that says five different recommendations, decide which one makes the most sense and then implement it and find those cards within the context. And it is a, um, it's not exactly easy. And then it doesn't appear to be, in my opinion, deeply powerful. I don't know. I mean, I think Xbox powerful. It wins often at a high level and it usually wins better than me. So maybe on average, it's better than those selections, even though I might disagree with them, might prove better than I could on average do. Maybe that's the truth. I, I can't, I just can't attest to it. I want to know if you guys are using it, if you have used it. Um, it looks like a lot of people are. I saw from March and April after sound did a video and he showed data from a blog post on Hive where it was talking about who had, who, which guilds were using it. And that information was you know, it's essentially public because you can see who's sending tokens around, etc. Um, and so, I mean, lots of people are using it. Guild and a lot of like from each guild, from all the highest guilds from tier four, like a lot, most people are. There was only three guilds at that time, several months ago that were, were not using it. This is my first time trying it. I'm feeling, 
I don't know. I, I, we'll see. We'll see what the guild brawl results, you know, turn out be, to be for me. But I really felt they were unreliable. I mean, I, ca I can't pull up my Discord exactly. But I'll tell you, one of the suggestions provided... I'm going to try and find it right here. Okay. So this is a 15 mana. Picture this. Um, a 15 mana match. Wild format. The rules include armored up, equalizer, and reverse speed. Okay. So now reverse speed. And then water, life, and death are not available. All cards alpha, beta, R. Um, the first suggestion prov provided by, by Xbot or by the Battle Helper was Lyanna Natura, the green team. Furious Chicken in the first spot. My Furious Chicken doesn't have any melee attack, so that's that's maybe the first, I guess, trick or difficulty, because if it had any melee, you know, with the with the equalizer, I could see it, but it doesn't. The Creeping Ooze was number two. My Creeping Ooze has a one melee damage. It's going to slow my opponent, which is going to give them an advantage in the context of reverse speed. The third monster was Brownie, which is going to give me an Inspire, which is great, but it's also going to give an, a speed, um, a Swiftness, which is going to slow me in this context because of that reverse speed. In spot one, in, in the four spot, Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing is that Archer unit with the green team, which has one weak in, two archery damage, and one slow again helping my opponent then wood nymph which would yes be helpful because it has a tank heal um and then lastly earth elemental which is an interesting rear sneak defense with archery damage output and actually would have been able to do some stuff right because it has the archery damage output and the slowish speed so i would have been really relying on swamp thing wood nymph earth elemental to put out damage and they would have dropped it effectively because my two archers are slow, but I've slowed my enemy and sped myself up, which makes those less likely to land. I just, I looked at that. And I thought, how is that going to be, how is that going to be effective? And the next suggestion without beating a dead horse here, Coca Trees is my starting point is my main tank is, is their suggestion. Six speed, dodge, flight, then a brownie, a creeping ooze and a swamp thing. I'm going to be hit every single time if I put that tank in the first spot. And so I just don't, you know, again, maybe it's my lack of expertise because the data, you know, Xbot has proved to be successful. But, you know, as I look at some of the results, I just felt one, it was difficult to interpret. Two, it takes a lot of time to think and then you have very little time to implement. And three, I just didn't necessarily even agree with the submissions provided. Um, again, you know, a lot of people use it. It's clearly powerful. Xbox powerful. Maybe it's just certain circumstances with certain, you know, rule sets that just aren't the best. I don't know. What do you guys think? Are you guys using it? Have you ever used it? Love to see more thoughts on that because frankly, it's my first go. I'm not aiming to use it regularly, but if it was really, uh, you know, given the data that I saw around, given the data I saw around how many people are using it within Guild Brawls in particular, it definitely makes me... You know, I would love it if we get to a place where this is human to human, period. I would. And, you know, I'm for modern doing that. I actually want, it makes me want to move into modern. But I also know that there's unreliable sort of success with that process. And until I see that it's actually human only, that it's, 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 it's finding a way to discourage or dis, disinvolve bots and bot helpers, etc. I don't want to go through the effort of making that move. And um, if we can get the game to a place where that's possible, where it's disencouraged, disencouraged, it's disincentivized, it's somehow stopped altogether, I'm so for that. But I don't see that right now. And while it's not there, I just don't want to lose value for myself and my team because I'm not using the tools that make me the most effective. I don't know if you guys agree with that or disagree. I'd, I'd love to... This is like a... This is a difficult thing for me. Like I, you know, I believe in this game in part because it's a really actually entertaining game to play. And that becomes less true when we automate everything. So this is a problem for me. But I also want to garner X amount of reward for my effort and my investment. And I also want to benefit my team. And I don't want to leave them hanging out to dry because I'm, 
because I'm the last one that's not using a tool that will help me. See my point?